This is James Woods. This is Carol Hughes. Hey, and um, this year we were kind of talking about like what Art Aid, like remember when mm -hmm. Art Aid. Yes, yes. And there's really some interesting things that have happened over the years. Yes, yes. That people don't know <laughs> other than us. Uh, well, I don't know that I know. I'm usually drunk. Oh, but thanks to our friends at Bud Light. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Well, you know, um, Art Aid has always been something that is really dear to our hearts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in there. As much fun as Art Aid is, we truly wish that we didn't have to raise this money. But we do. We want people to know that this is a fun show. We all have friends that are no longer with us. So in their memory, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for being here tonight. Well, our daughter's in the show. Lindsay's in the show. Oh my God, I've heard of that. Yeah, I know. Well. I fought all the time. But you know what? <laughs> she ended up being one of the most amazing models. Yes, Always she was. was so fun. Yeah. The ribbon, her and Brittany. Mm -hmm. That idea of the big ribbon, our age ribbon. Was my idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I just think everyone should take a moment and just sit here and look at how wonderful I look with this backdrop. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> And sing. Um, and I don't care whatever Graham and Todd have told you, Art Aid is never their idea. Never. Oh, if you ever want to know how to really make Carol Hughes mad. <laughs> oh, don't let me catch you in a dressing room doing something disrespectful to this event. <laughs> Safely. <laughs> I will tell the whole world, I swear. <laughs> I think you just did. <laughs> It wasn't me, Mom. It totally wasn't me. And just saying, we have free condoms at the end of any <laughs> art aid. Okay? We had a stylist with us that <laughs> she was one of our newer stylists. And Nervous. Yeah. Scared and overwhelmed. Yeah, mm -hmm. completely. So uh, she had a little bit of uh, liquid courage. Mm -hmm. And anyway. she had a double quarter pounder with cheese. And a pizza. And a pizza. Yeah. yeah, she had two pizzas. She's very nervous. Anyway, and then she decided to smoke a cigarette. Oh, it made her dizzy. She got green. Yeah. And she threw up. All in the dressing room right before yeah. the show started. And so all those poor models had to walk around the hugest pile of throw up we've ever seen. Yes. That was, I don't know, is that funny or sad? <laughs> That's like romper room. I'm Miss Fran and I see Pam and Dwayne. Who else do I see? Oh, Chris Clark. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look, and then there's that one person. You're back. You're still ugly. <laughs> You're going to need to leave. What well, people didn't pay $65 to see that. And it wasn't any of those people I referred <laughs> to. We had a, uh, well, sitar. Sitar. <laughs> what do we call that? Sitar. Sitar? I think it's so. like the half man, half goat thing. What is sitar? that? Sitar? Yeah. The Seder? Seder. 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 <laughs> That's it. A sitar. That's an instrument, by the way. <laughs> yeah. If those of you people don't know that. A, uh, yeah. Yeah. A Seder. A s Seder? What is it now? Seder. No. Sa no. Centaur. Oh, centaur. Linda had decided that we needed this ice sculpture to go in the middle of the um, appetizer buffet. At 5 o'clock, I send out my volunteers in a truck. And they go all the way out to the Marriott, <laughs> pick this thing up. From the cotillion. Yes. It's huge. It's heavy. It was the one that was shaped in like a big martini glass. And as they're getting it off the truck, it starts waving <laughs> and it just falls and lands right on the ground. The truck just comes flying through the parking lot and runs right over it and smashes it. And to Dallas Miller, thank you for that sculpture we never used. Our sitar. <laughs> Seder. Seder? Seder? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Centipede. Okay, so one year we have this big um, finale for Art Aid. <laughs> and Angie Gear literally did ride from one of the back doors in the cotillion on a motorcycle. Oh. There was a lot of exhaust that went with she it. She never ridden a motorcycle. No. She, she had no idea. <laughs> Thank God nobody knew that. <laughs> We were doing our big Rocky Horror finale. <laughs> that ended up turning into the Spinal Tap finale. Yeah, because none of the microphones worked. So here we have Frankenfurter, all these people from Cabaret Old Town. But the microphones didn't work because we had sunspots. 
So. Beer break. Okay. Thank so. God we don't. Thank God Art Aid's not sponsored by heroin. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we thank everybody. I mean, that. Oh, I have my sunglasses on. Yep. Most of the ideas really are mine, though. <laughs> Okay, so when you think about all the things that happen behind the scenes at Art Aid, the decorations and kind of taking Gretemann Group's idea and translating it into decorations, right. we could not have done that without so new events. Glenn totally called me out of the blue and said, um, you know, I'm Glenn Songer and I work for this company and this is what we want to do. We don't want to charge you anything. We totally want to do this for free. And you just tell me the dates and we'll have everything there. And I mean, what showed up was 10,000 times better than anything I could have ever imagined. You know, it's that great big shoe. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I think everybody remembers the big shoe. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, they gave the shoe to us the next year that we sold. Um, even though Glenn is gone, Melanie said that, you know, Art Aid will never be without Sonu events. And we thank them very much. Yeah, we do. He was one of these men that everything was doable. Everything. And he would come up with all these great ideas that would completely, you know, take the visual of Art Aid and he would make it completely 3D. I remember Glenn because I remember the big shoe and it was incredible. I knew Fritz Capone for a long time. The crazy thing is, I knew him from my first drag show. And that is <laughs> wait, a story, wait, 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 wait. That's a story <laughs> that I'm going to share tonight. You were a drag queen? One of the very first times that Fritz was in, one of the very first art aids, it was at the warehouse. And uh, Fritz did uh, memories, and they passed the hat. And they passed the hat all around. Everybody was throwing money in it. It was amazing. And then the hat went out the front door with all the money. <clears throat> My mother, after the show, she said to me, she said, she goes, I have to meet that woman. And I said, what woman, Mom? And she goes, that woman that looks like Bette Midler. She's the one that sang Memories. And I was like, Mom, that's Fritz. He's a female impersonator. He taught me how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love everybody. Yeah. And we miss Fritz. Fritz was so nice, and, and we used to go out to fantasy, and we'd have to rehearse out there, and I was kind of always <laughs> awed by him back then, and I think he was one of those people definitely larger than life. 